What's up guys, I'm, just, I'm backstage at the Winnipeg Jazz Festival here and I was uh, just thinking about some stuff, practicing some stuff, and uh, I wanted to share it with you. Like, I think I got this from James Burton, a great trombone player in, in New York, who teaches at Juilliard. He was showing me this uh, at one point, and uh, just thinking about a major scale in a vertical setting. So instead of just playing like an arpeggio that just goes up to the seventh, actually playing an arpeggio that goes all the way up uh, to the, the 13th, like so for a B flat major, we're going all the way up to the root. And then you can kind of take that shape and move it around in a circle of fourths. So kind of just flipping a major scale on its head. And the other thing you can do is take the same thing and practice different kinds of arpeggios that I was thinking about practicing not only just a major seven up, up to the 13th, but then changing the 11th up to a sharp 11. Or you can change it to be like a minor, minor major. Minor seven up to the up to the thirteenth. So there's all these possibilities, and even going up to the root on that. So just taking the time to kind of, I just like to think of new things to practice, and I thought that might be interesting for some some of you out there looking for things to practice. And then the other thing I was thinking about is not only playing it slow with a single tone, but kind of trying to create recreate that culture and kind of sheets of sound kind of thing, just with like a major. They're just a major sound. You know, it could be over something else, but just with that B flat major sound. Thinking about that one. Or if you go all the way up to the root. A little more tricky than just double tone that. But for me, I think I like the one that just goes up to the up to the thirteen. So good, it's good practicing. You can take take the minor major seven or the minor seven or just the dominant seven. Just kind of start moving it around the horn. And you can start using the other sounds in the same way with that kind of sheets of sound approach. With the dominant seventh sound. So anyway, just something to think about. So thanks to James for that idea. And uh, here at the Winnipeg Jazz Festival, about to go on in a couple hours. So happy practicing, and we'll see you soon.